Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed are the blameless in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. In a grave they lead thee, O my life and my Christ, and the armies of the angels were sore amazed as they sang the praise of thy submissive love. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies with their whole heart shall they seek after him. How alive canst thou die or abide in a grave? For thou dost destroy the kingdom of death, O Lord, and thou raisest up the dead of Hades' realm. For they that work iniquity have not walked in his ways. Now we magnify thee. commandments that we should keep them most diligently. Thou who didst establish the earth's bounds dost now dwell in a small grave, O my Jesus, the King of all, who dost call the dead to leave their graves and rise. Would that, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. O my dear Christ Jesus, King Then shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments. Lo, the sovereign ruler of creation is dead, and is buried in a tomb never used before. He that emptied all the graves of all their dead. I will confess thee with uprightness of heart when I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness. In a Keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Thou, O Christ, was numbered with men of evil deeds, as one evil and this also deliver us from the ancient schemers, evil works and deeds. Wherewithal shall a young man correct his way by keeping thy word? Lo, how fair his beauty! My whole heart have I sought after thee, cast me not away from thy commandments. How could it is, O Savior, bear thy presence divine, and not rather be demolished in a tomb, blinded by the splendor of thy dazzling light? In my heart have I hid thy sayings, that I might not sin against thee. O oh, my sweet Lord Jesus, Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Angel kind, O Master, and the bodiless host cannot understand the mystery, O my Christ, of thy burial ineffable and strange. With my lips have I declared all thy judgments of thy mouth. Lo, how strange these wonders Testimonies have I found delight as much as in all riches. O Christ Jesus, Savior, in the grave thou wast laid, yet thou didst not leave the bosom of thy Father, Lord. Lo, what strange and awesome wonders we behold. On thy commandments. 
silence will I ponder and I will understand thy way. Unto all creation was thou made known, O Christ, as the true King of the firmament and the earth, even though thou wast enclosed in a small grave. On thy statutes will I meditate, I will not forget thy words. When O Christ, our Maker, Every word unto thy servant quicken me, and I will keep thy word. He that holdeth all things in the grasp of his hand, in the flesh is now held dead in the depths of earth, thereby freeing all the dead from Hades' grasp. Oh, unveil mine eyes, and I shall perceive wondrous things out of thy law. Thou my life, O oh Savior, A sojourner on the earth, hide not from me thy commandment. As a lamp of light beneath a bushel is hid, so now also in the earth is God's flesh concealed, and doth drive away the gloom from Hades' realm. My soul hath long to desire thy judgments at all times. Rebuke the proud, cursed are they that decline from thy commandments. By thy willing death and burial in the earth, fount of life, O Jesus, life tis thou grant to me, who was dead in bitter and most grievous sin. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for after thy testimonies have I sought. By thy said, and they spake against me, but I, thy servant pondered on thy statue. All devouring Hades, unreceiving within, as a mortal him that is the firm rock of life, did spew forth a dead swallowed from ancient times. For thy testimonies are my meditation, and thy statutes are my counselor. Declare that thou hast heard me, teach me thy statutes. Though the earth was troubled and did tremble with fear, and the morning star overhead hid its brilliant rays, when they hid thee in the earth, O most great light. Make me to understand the way of thy statutes, and I will ponder on thy wondrous works. As a mortal Savior, My soul has slumbered from despondency, strengthen me with thy words. Thy pure mother weeping bitter tears over thee. O my Jesus, O my Savior, she cried to thee. O my son, how can I lay thee in the grave? Remove from me the way of unrighteousness, and with thy law have mercy on me. Of the earth and thereby bringeth forth his 
thy judgments have I not forgotten. Savior, thou wast hidden neath the earth like a sun, and was covered as with shrouds by the night of death. But more radiantly do thou arise, O Lord. I have cleaved to thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. As the moon doth cover Commandments have I run when thou did enlarge my heart. O oh, my life, Christ Savior, having tasted of death, thou hast freed all mortal men from the bonds of death. Wherefore now thou grantest life unto our race. Set before me a law, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I will seek after it continually. By thy death. Keep it with my whole heart. Seeing thee, O Savior, lying dead for our sakes, the noetic hosts of heaven were sore amazed, and their faces did they cover with their wings. Guide me in the path of thy commandments, for I have desired it. In thy death, O Logos, Joseph, take it. Thou who art the gladness of the angels, O Lord, art become the cause of sorrow and grief to them, seeing thee dead in the flesh bereft of breath. Turn away mine eyes that I may not see vanity, quicken thou me in thy way. When thou wast once lifted on the tree, Servant, thine oracle, and do fear of thee. Like a lion, Savior, thou didst sleep in the flesh, and thou didst arise to rise like a lion cub, and didst cast away the weakness of the flesh. Remove my reproach, which I have feared, for thy judgments are good. Thou After thy commandment and thy righteousness quicken me. Secretly, O Savior, was the Lamb slain of old, but as one forgiving thou wast slain openly, purifying all creation by thy death. Let thy mercy come also upon me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. Truly, who Awesome new deed, he that governeth creation accepteth now pains of suffering and dieth for our sake. So shall I give an answer to them that reproach me, for I have hoped in thy words. So the angels cried out in amazement and awe. 
days of ages. Stretched upon the blessed tree, the Lord Jesus did make all men one, and when thy life giving sight was pierced, that is shed forgiveness on the race of man. And I walked in spaciousness, for after thy commandments have I sought. Noble Joseph, Savior. testimonies before kings, and I was not ashamed. As one dead, O oh Jesus, thy good pleasure it was to descend beneath the earth and to lead again from the earth to heaven those who fell therefrom. And I meditated on thy commandment, which I have greatly loved. Though, O oh sweet is Jesus, commandments which I have loved. Though we see the as dead, yet thou livest as God, and hast given new life to mortal men who had died, and my deadness hast thou thereby put to death. And I pondered on thy statue. servant wherein thou hast made me to hope. I adore thy passion, thine entombing I praise, and I magnify thy might, O thou friend of man. From corruptive passions have they set me free. This hath comforted me in my humiliation, for thine oracle hath quickened me. A sword flashed against thee, Exceedingly, but from thy law have I not declined. When the you that bear thee saw them slaying her love, overcome by grievous torment, she wailed aloud, and moved all the flock to join her bitter cry. I remembered thy judgments of old, O Lord, and was comforted. Though thou art now buried. my poor 
portion, O Lord, I said that I would keep thy law. O blood guilty people in land Israel, how could he redeem the robbers that lawless thief, and deliver up the Savior to the cross? I entreated thy countenance with my whole heart, have mercy on me according to thy word. Feedback to thy testimony. Down to dreaded Hades, thou descendest toward in obedience to thy Father's will, O Lord, and didst raise up all the race of mortal men. I made ready and was not troubled that I might keep thy commandments. On the light, the world knew. of sinners entangled me, but thy law have I not forgotten. O vindictive people, murderous and corrupt, come behold the linen sheet of the risen Christ, and the face cloth which hath put you all to shame. At midnight I rose to give thanks unto thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. Come, O foul Partaker with all them that fear thee and with them that keep thy commandments. Feigning love for mankind for a price thou didst sell, him that is the fragrant myrrh, remorseless one, almost pestilent and utterly blind fool. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy, teach me thy statutes. What price was? Graciously with thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word. If thou didst love poor man and didst truly regret, thou may put out from the soul as an offering. How for coins couldst thou sell him that taught forth life? Goodness and discipline and knowledge teach thou me, for in thy commandments have I believed. Word and God. Eternal, O oh my joy and delight, how shall I endure thy three-day entombment, Lord? My maternal bowels are rent with grief for thee. Before I was humbled, I transgressed, therefore thy saying have I kept. Teach me thy statutes. O ye hills and valleys, O ye mountains and dales, and the multitude of mankind weep and lament, crying, Woe with me, the mother of our God. Multiplied against me hath been the unrighteousness of the proud, but as for me, with my whole heart will I search out thy commandments. When shall I behold thee, O my Savior and God, the eternal light, my joy and my heart's delight? Thus the virgin cried out in her great distress. Eternal like milk is their heart, but as for me, in thy law have I meditated. Though accepting cutting as the chief cornerstone, Yet, O Savior, as the wellspring of endless
that thou hast humbled me that I might learn thy statue. As from one spring only are we given to drink of the twofold river which gushed forth from thy side, and we reap the fruit of everlasting life. The law of thy mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver. Let the proud 
be put to shame, for unjustly have they transgressed against me. But as for me, I will ponder on thy commandments. Know thy testimonies. Let my heart be blameless in thy statutes that I may not be put to shame. For thy salvation on thy words have I set my hope. Say, when wilt thou comfort me? Have I not forgotten? Servant, when wilt thou execute judgment for me on them that persecute me? have told me fables, but they are not like thy law, O Lord. without a cause have men persecuted me do thou help me Forsook not thy commandments. Quicken me, and I will keep thy testimonies of thy mouth. is in heaven. In the 
libations of tears for the Christ God When thou in the flesh was laid in a tomb of stone And she cried, Arise, O Christ, as thou didst say Unto generation and generation is thy truth Thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and it abideth Let the day abide, for all things are thy servants. Build upon the cross, thou was pierced, and thus thy mother saw thee, and was smitten with the nails of most bitter grief, and her soul itself was pierced as with a sword. If thy love had not been my meditation, then should I have perished in my humiliation? When thy mother saw thee, the sweetness of all being watered, with a bitter portion she wept most bitterly, with a countenance be sprinkled with warm tears. I will never forget thy statutes, for in them has Thou quicken me. Above mine 
purpose have I received understanding, for after thy commandments have I sought. Restrain my feet that I may keep thy words. judgments have I not declined where thou hast set the law for me. Sings more sweet than honey to my mouth. Commandments have I gained understanding, therefore have I hated every way of unrighteousness. to my feet and a light unto my path. judgments of thy righteousness. Exceedingly, O Lord, quicken me according to thy word. O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. Thy testimonies forever, for they are the rejoicing. 
rejoicing of my heart. statutes forever for a recompense. Receive 
leave thy servant unto good, let not the proud falsely accuse me. salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. According to thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. Ever and 
to the ages of ages. Amen. forever 
give me understanding and I shall live. Helped by Nicodemus, Joseph doth in tomb know the body of his maker. I have cried with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, and I will seek after thy statutes. Life bestowing Savior to Save me and I will keep thy testimony. When the most pure virgin saw thee prone, O Logos, a mother's dirt, she sang thee. I arose in the dead of night and I cried, on thy words have I set my hope. the morning that I might meditate on thy saying. Songs of lamentation poured from thy pure mother when thou a word was slaughtered. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to thy mercy, according to the judgment, quicken me. Lawlessly persecute me, but from thy law are they far removed. By thy death, O Lord God, death itself has thou slain by thy divine dominion. Near art thou, O Lord, and all thy ways are true. Deceived is thy beginning I have known from thy testimonies that thou hast founded them forever. The traitor was cast headlong into the depths of Hades and pit of vile corruption. Behold my humiliation and rescue me for thy law have I not forgotten. The ways of the thrice wretched Judge my cause and redeem me, for thy word's sake quicken me. Son of God and Logos, all thy crucifiers, O King of all have perished. Far from sinners is salvation, for they have not sought after thy statutes. In the pit of death. According to the judgment, quicken me. Son of God Almighty, O my God and Maker, whence came thy will to suffer? Many are they that persecute me and afflict me. From thy testimonies I have I not declined. because they kept not thy sayings. Joseph and the blessed disciple Nicodemus tend the life-giving body. Behold how I have loved thy commandments, O Lord, in thy mercy quicken me. and all thy judgments of thy righteousness and or forever. Light more dear than seeing, oh, my most sweet child, out 
have been afraid. Lament not, O oh my mother, I endure the passion to set free even Adam. I will rejoice in thy sayings as one that findeth great spoil. Unrighteousness have I hated and abhorred, but thy law have I loved. Vinegar and gall was the given, thus annulling the tasting of the bad fruit. Seven times a day have I praised thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. Much peace have they that love thy law, and for them there is no stumbling block. Lomer bearing women to thy tomb, O Savior, are come there more to offer. I awaited thy salvation, O Lord, and thy commandments have I loved. My soul hath kept thy testimonies and hath loved them exceedingly. Rise, O life, be sower, cried out she that bare thee, even thy weeping mother. I have kept thy commandments and thy testimony, for all my ways are before thee, O Lord. Supplication, draw not before thee, Lord, according to thine oracle, give me understanding. All the hosts of heaven stood with fear, confounded, beholding thy dead body. Let my petitions come before thee, Lord, according to thine oracle, deliver me. shall pour forth a hymn when thou hast taught me thy statutes. O sight most strange and awesome, how doth earth conceal thee, O word of God and Savior. My tongue shall speak of thy saying, for all thy commandments are righteousness. for saving me, for I have chosen thy commandments. Weeping and lamenting, thy most holy mother doth mourn thee, my slain Savior. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my meditation. Minds must tremble, see. My soul shall live and shall praise thee, and thy judgments will help me. May the women sprinkled, bearing stores of spices, to grace thy tomb ere dawning. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost, O seek thy servants, for I have not forgotten thy commandments. Grant unto thy church. Peace by thy resurrection, and to thy flocks salvation. 
glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Oh, thou triune Godhead, Father, Son, and Spirit, upon thy world of mercy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grant that we who serve